The Super Bowl ads are always a great inspiration for filmmakers and VFX artists. So that's why we wanted to recreate the lightning effects from Zeus from the BMW commercial. Actually, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. No sh now, here's the thing. There is actually an advanced lightning effect inside After Effects, but the problem is it looks like crap. Now, Lorenzo and Janik have figured out a way to make lightning look realistic. So without further ado, let us show you how we did it. sure these guys have an entire studio to work in, yet they bring the entire light setup to the editing room. Originally, we wanted to shoot this effect handheld, but in our testing phase, we shot another tripod and noticed that this way, our tracking went much, much faster. So we decided to just shoot everything on our tripod and just later on in post-production, add some handheld on the effect to make it go much faster. Another thing we noticed during the testing is that we need some practical lighting for the lightning. Because if we're gonna paint it afterwards in After Effects, it's not gonna look that realistic. That's why we're using this small Amron light as our practical light when shooting the lightning. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, actually, we got a great comment from Demon King who's asking if we can do Unreal Engine basic tutorials. Well, actually, we really want to, but we're looking for a show or a film where we can do a copycat series from in Unreal, but it's not really happening. So instead, we're actually making right now an entire course about Unreal Engine and virtual production for Skillshare, but that is coming out in a couple of months, I think. So definitely stay tuned. You can just subscribe to this channel to learn more in the future. Cheers. Hi, I'm Jordy, and I don't like to push buttons, so that's why I use electricity. You're too late, Janik. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Again, we've got an entire film studio here. Why are we going back inside? It's too wet, Nikimo! It fits like. And now you cut. <laughs> now, one last thing is when your talent is doing his acting, make sure all of his fingertips are visible because we'll be tracking these in post production. Timo! It's with me inside! You know, it's not the first time Jordi plays around with electricity powers. As you can see in one of our older videos, he wasn't so great at controlling it in the beginning. The electric beam we did here was in Premiere Pro. For the explosion and sparks, we used Storyblocks, the sponsor for today's video. In their ever-growing community-driven library, with more than 1 million royalty-free high-quality stock assets, you can find a ton of smoke assets, sparks, explosions, and even extra electricity assets. Basically, everything you need to take this effect to the next level. You can find stock assets in HD and 4K resolution, various After Effects templates which will save you a lot of time in post-production, music, sound effects and so much more. And the best of all is that you can download an endless amount of assets from their library with the unlimited all access plan. Or you can check out the other affordable plans, there is one for every kind of creator. If you want to know more about Storyblocks and how to start downloading right away, click the first link in the description down below or go straight to storyblocks.com slash I think we have to redo the shots. Everything is fine, guys. When After Effects is charged up, we can drag our clip into composition. Before we can start with creating the electricity, let's first track Jordi's fingertips so we can use the tracking data later on to pin our lightning to. Look for the point where the effect should start, and with the clip selected, head over to the tracker window. Here we'll choose the track motion option. Position the tracker on one of his fingertips and adjust the size of it. Once the tracker is in place, we can analyze the footage forward until the point where the effect needs to stop. Now we need to create a null object to attach the tracking data to. So right click in the composition and create a new null object. To keep it orderly, rename it to the finger we just tracked. Then select the clip again and head back over to the tracker window. Here we'll choose edit target and choose the null object we just created. Then hit apply and the tracking data is now added to your null object. Do this for all the fingers on the hand, leaving you with 4 or 5 tracked null objects. Next it's time to create the lightning effect. Create a new solid layer and on this layer we're going to add the advanced lighting effect. First thing we will be doing is linking our lightning bolt to our finger. In the effects control panel we will alt click on the origin property of the lightning effect. 
This will open up some options in our timeline. Here we can then parent the lightning origin to the position of the track null object. And now our lightning will be stuck to a finger. The next step is going to be the look of our lightning. This is something personally so play around with all the settings. We used the strike lightning type, animated the direction so the lightning flies in, lowered the forking and adjusted the blending mode to screen. Nothing more. And nothing less. A tip here, if you want your lightning to stop at a certain point, you can use a mask. However, it won't do anything until you adjust the alpha obstacle property. This feature is super handy if you have multiple objects that you want to hit and the lightning bolt absolutely needs to stop there. Next, we also added a turbulent displays effect with a very low size, making the lightning crackly and of course added a glow. To make it ourselves easier, we can duplicate our lightning solid layer as many times as we have tracked fingers. We then only need to adjust the parenting so that every finger has a lightning bolt. Of course, adjust the animation of the direction so that every bolt hits another part of the target. What we also did was randomly let the direction property jump around. Because lightning is never static. meaning it will twitch and jump around. Now for the point where the lightning hits our subject, we'll need some glow. So we duplicated our original clip and with the Lumetri effect made it very blue and bright. Then with some animated feathered mask, we followed every contact point for every lightning making it glow where the lightning hits. Then for some finishing touches, we also added very small flares on our fingers and lightning contact points. And to finish it all off, we added a bunch of twitching lightning bolts all over the target, giving us the feel of electricity being everywhere. Hi, I'm Jordi and I don't like to press buttons. That's why I use my finger and a little bit of electricity. Nice. I also hate it to boil my own water. Luckily, I got a finger or two. Nice! But what I really hate is losing time by going to the bathroom. Luckily, I got a couple of... But what I really hate the most out of everything is start my own car. Luckily, I've got a couple of fingers. Oh. <laughs> what? It's chocolate. Oh, oh damn, this is not an electric car, absolutely not. Ah, damn it, it's a gasoline car. Well, I know what to do right now, guys, and that is fix my car. And I know that you have to do something as well, and that is like this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you, StoryVlogs, for the support. Now go check out more of our videos right here. Stay creative. <laughs>